So when you flip this paper over, you are going to be drawing them large on the front. When I say large, I want you to create a well-balanced composition. I would suggest drawing two things up top, one in the middle and two at the bottom. When you draw these, you might want your objects to interact or overlap a little bit or run off the edge of the paper. Those three things that I just described are how you create a well-balanced artistic composition. Fill the space you have, overlap some things, and sometimes let things run off the edges of the paper. I'm gonna start drawing my things and you'll notice that I try to display those qualities in my artwork as I go. Oh, as you see me drawing here, and before you get started drawing, remember to draw super lightly with your pencil. Don't press hard with your hand like this, or you will dent your paper and not be able to erase very well. Draw lightly with your pencil. Also, we're going to be painting these guys, so there's no need to scribble anything in with your pencil to color it black. You want to leave all parts of the paper white, just creating outlines for you to paint inside of later. My next thing that I draw, I'm gonna really try to create an overlap. I'm gonna draw my camper here in the middle because it's kind of long. So notice I've overlapped that. I might need to go back and erase this little bit right here because my camper is now looking like it is in front of that National Park logo. The next thing that I'm going to draw, hmm, let me check and see what do I want to do here. Um, I'm going to do get my master's degree and donate my hair, so I'll draw those. Hmm, what could overlap things here? Well, I've got a good idea. This master's hat that I draw is going to run off the edge of my paper, and the tassel is going to come down over here. And then maybe when I go to draw that little diploma, I could draw that overlapping the hat a little bit and even running off the paper as well. The next thing I'm gonna draw is doning my hair. I don't want this to overlap too much, but I am going to use this whole space that I have here and create a girl. And again, a little pair of scissors here to show what's going on. You know what, maybe I'll put a little heart since that's a kind thing to do. All right, and the last thing that I'm going to draw is my children's book. And inside this children's book, maybe I should draw some illustrations since that is what it's supposed to represent. So I'm gonna draw a bumblebee. And on the other side here, maybe there was a flower on this page. And I think that is good. Let's take a look at my composition. Did I fill the space? Yes, I did. There is very little background space to be had on this paper. If you were to draw your objects this teeny tiny, that would leave a lot of background space and not fill your paper. You need to draw big. Your objects should be about the size of your fist when they are finished. Next, did I overlap some things? I overlapped there, I overlapped there, and I overlapped right here. Check, I did it. The next thing I asked you to do is let some things run off the edge of the paper, which I did here, here, and down here. So that's awesome too. I got that too. I did all three things in order to draw an artistic, artistic well-balanced composition for my future self.
I hope you enjoyed this little review demonstration about how to draw an artistic composition. Be sure to complete that Google form about what you learned in this video. Have a great day!